I will admit, she's kind of a freaky looking duckling. So, by my count, we are short two ducks. <laughs> but that still leaves us short one duck. Do you see her? She's like right there. Hey, girl. I'm just a friend. Ooh. She definitely seems broody. I'll leave her alone. So she's been hanging out inside there like every morning uh, for about the past, I don't know, three or four days. She just hangs out. She sits on a big clutch of eggs. There's probably, I don't know, about 20 eggs or so in there now. I've been slipping a lot of our daily eggs in there. I'm really hoping she goes broody. It'd be kind of cool if she could hatch out a bunch of ducklings for me. I mean, it would save me a whole bunch of work. But the khaki Campbell breed of duck is not necessarily known for being a very broody type of duck. And so I'm not sure how this is all gonna work out. What I've noticed is she sits there for several hours, but then when I go to check on her around lunchtime, she's out the back with the rest of the quacking. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this one, guys. As far as the rest of the quacking goes, everybody's doing really well. For those of you guys who watch our channel on a regular basis, you might know that we had two ducks that were suffering from bumblefoot. Uh, we did surgery on one duck. We did the soaking method on the other duck. Both ducks have healed up really well and are back in with the rest of the flock. There was a third injured duck that we were taking care of. She had sustained several really bad injuries from when the mink attacked our flock and killed several ducks and injured most of them. And so we've been trying to take care of her. Let me try to find her for you guys and you can see how she's doing. You can actually see her there. She's the duck on the, the furthest most right. Um, walking. She's got kind of the crusty looking eyes. She seems like she's doing okay. She struggles to move her neck. You can see it like she can barely dunk her head underwater, um, which is a shame. That means she's been struggling with her hygiene a bit. When we first took her into the, the hospital cart for the quackage, she was really having trouble eating. Now that's gotten better. Her biggest problem now is she still struggles to wash herself. Um, you can look at see how her eyes are really dirty in comparison. You can see our Drake right there on the main fr frame flapping his wings. You see how he was washing his face? That's something that ducks need to do. And she is unfortunately, she still struggles to do that. She can kind of do it, like you can see it right here. She's, she's a, doing her best attempt, but she's not fully back to normal. I don't think she ever will. Part of me feels like I should just put her out of her misery. But at the same time, she seems like she's doing okay. She actually even started laying eggs again. She seems like a pretty happy duck. I, I kind of feel like, look, I have a responsibility to her. It was my fault that she got attacked. Um, I shouldn't just put her out for convenience. And so we're going to keep her with the flock. I mean, if she requires like serious medical attention or something, we won't go to that extent. But right now, the only cost is she's eating feed and maybe not being the most productive duck. And, uh... For that, I can't fault her, so she's sticking with the quacking. And I do have to say, it's really nice to have the quacking all reunited again. Right now, the quacking only consists of uh, 13 ducks, and that's why I'm really hoping that, that that one broody khaki Campbell actually starts hatching some more ducklings, because we need to add to our flock again. We're getting a little smaller than I'd like. Um, so that's something that we're working on. But those aren't the only ducklings that we're planning on adding to the quacking. I have a, a couple of additions that I'd like you to meet. Golly, this grass is getting so tall. I want to mow it, but if you look down here, we're still like pretty much flooded in our pasture. Now, before I show you guys the new arrivals here on the farm, I feel like I need to talk to you about the goslings. In the last video I made, 
I showed you guys how I was bringing the little goslings who were at the time a little over two weeks old outside. They had outgrown their brooder room and I had built them a little uh, John Siskovich style chicken tractor. And my plan was to try to brood them outside um, to give them more space and access to fresh pasture. And as you guys saw at the end of that video, it was getting very cold. You know, we live here in Northern New England and you know, even though it's June, for the temperatures to still drop down into the 30s is not unusual. That's just not the best situation for the goslings, um, especially little baby goslings. But I was lucky. Because I kept the chicken tractor close enough to the house, I was able to actually just keep using heat lamps. I only use the heat lamps during the evening hours. How's everybody doing? So yeah, the little baby geeslings are doing awesome. You guys doing good this morning? Yeah, how's everybody doing? Hi, hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. You can start to see they're getting their real feathers now, starting to really feather out. They're getting down, thicker down. They're doing really well. Oh boy, you guys want to go outside, don't you? I can tell. <laughs> All right, I'll set up the ramp. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. You guys can come outside. I know everybody's gonna seriously enjoy it. Yeah, there's so much grass out here. My one concern is I gotta watch out for barn cats. Still not sure how the two of them are gonna interact. Come on, out you go. Use the ramp, use the ramp, come on. Everybody out in orderly fashion. You guys have no idea how much fun your brothers and sisters are having right now. Don't eat our propane tanks, you guys. So now that I've freed up the second chicken tractor, I'm gonna probably split these guys up pretty soon because they're just getting a little bit crowded inside there. Um, but I can probably go another couple of days before I have to do that. I'm still planning on building a third John Siskovich chicken tractor, um, and I'll do that actually in the next couple of days, so a lot more projects here on the farm. You guys are less adventurous. You just want to roll up in your patch of sunshine and hang out, huh? Okay, I know you guys want to go see the new addition to the farm, so let's go check it out. Look at these little guys. A little over a month ago, I ended up donating a bunch of the fertilized duck eggs to the local preschool. Um, I went into the school and talked to the kids about ducks and how we raise ducks here and they went through this experiment of actually incubating and hatching their own ducklings. And so these guys are the product of that hatching. This one in particular is missing a lot of her fluff. Like it's weird, right? Like you can see it. And I can't quite tell what's going on with it. I will admit, she's kind of a freaky looking duckling. We have four ducklings that hatched. We have two khaki Campbells purebred and two Pekin purebred. So I know that the two Pekin purebred ducklings are the product of Samuel and Jemima Puddle Duck, our two white Pekins that we have in our flock. They're the only two Pekins, so I know the parentage. The other two khaki Campbells come from the Quacken somehow, but I don't know exactly how. They're really sweet ducks. They are very friendly. They are pretty personable. Hey. They don't freak out nearly as much as our original flock did either. Um, Allison has taken ownership of these ducks, so just so you guys know, they are definitely her 
ducklings. I think she's always had a dream of having a couple ducklings to follow her around as she works in the garden. They imprinted on the teacher, the kids in the class, so they're very, very comfortable with humans uh, versus our ducklings, which were raised as a flock out, out in the brooder. We have them actually inside the house, which is a little weird for us. We don't usually try to brood animals in the house. But you know, we figured it was worth giving it a shot. So yes, there are new ducklings here on the farm. If you guys wanna see how the first batch of ducklings showed up here on the farm, be sure to check out this video. Um, and yeah, I will see you over there. So go watch it.